Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to turn off HDCP on your PlayStation 5 and fix common screen issues on your PlayStation 4 like gray flickering, black screen, or no signal. So let's go ahead, jump the video right now. So I already know what the problem is with my PlayStation 5. I have HDCP turned on and I'm not able to display that on my monitor so it causes this black screen or sometimes it will have like periodic gray flickering across the entire screen and I'll get no signal also and nothing is displaying even though I have my PlayStation 5 turned on the light bars turned on and I can't do anything about it so what you guys need to go ahead and do is you can try a different HDMI cable and you can try a different screen. Now for me, I have my PlayStation 5 routed through a capture card and that's why I'm getting this issue. But you could be on a screen that doesn't really support this at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this HDMI cable into a different input on my PlayStation and I should be able to get a signal. So let's go to the back of the TV right now. I'll plug this in. So this will go into HDMI input number one right here and then I'll plug the other end into my PlayStation 5 right now and something should display on my screen as soon as I switch this over so that's plugged in all right let's go to my TV now I'll switch over the HDMI so here we go switching over to HDMI number one and I should be able to get something popping up on my screen right now. Now it's a completely different resolution, so I'm gonna to have to go ahead and switch that over. So let's go up to the top here and go to settings, and then go on down, go to screen and video, and then let's go to automatic for my resolution. Seems like it's kind of messed up here. I have to switch over to 4K first, and then I'll switch back over to automatic. Now, Another thing you can try is the video transfer rate. If you are getting a bunch of screen flickering, set this to negative one or negative two, and this should fix that. It says adjust the transfer rate of 4K video output. If your screen flickers, try selecting negative one or negative two to limit the transfer rate. Perfect. Now the issue I was having, and the reason I had to switch different um, inputs or monitors was because of HDCP. So if I go to system now and then go to HDMI, then go over to HDCP. I have a select and turn on. Let's go to turn off now. And I should still be able to get a video here. Okay, still got video. Now I can switch back over to my capture card, which is HDMI 2, and I should be able to get a signal. And I have to switch this around first. All right, let's see if it works now. So it should be popping up right now. And there it is. I can see my PlayStation once again. So those are my couple tips for you guys. Go ahead and try a different HDMI, try a different screen, turn off HDCP, and then also the 4K video transfer rate, go ahead and put that to like negative two. And if you are having HDCP issues, even if you go into safe mode, uh, nothing will display for you. So you have to try a complete different screen. So if this video did indeed help you out, go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.